Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the monthly sheet load showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the cards that my collaborators created using the October 2022 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what my collaborators created with the latest sheet load of cards. Now I know that you can always check out their videos and Instagram posts by using the provided hashtag for the month, but I think it's fun to combine them so you can see them all in one place. If after watching today's video, you would like to go get more information on one or more of the card sets that you see, I do have links to their channels and Instagram accounts in the description box below. Don't forget, here on YouTube, you can use this month's hashtag, which is in the title, and I also have a search for the Instagram hashtag as well. Now, if you're interested in playing along and showing us your sheet load, don't forget about the special hashtags at the top of each printable. In front of me is a look at the October 2022 sheet load of cards. If you follow the supply list and cutting guides, this will yield you nine cards. I do have the debut video where I tell you how to download the free printable, as well as a link to the process video where I show you how I made my first set in the description box below. Let's go ahead and see what my team created. First up today is Yvette of Yvette Olea Creates. She used this month to create a set of nine holiday cards. I love those rich colors and her varied sentiments. Danny of Danny's Dreams has put together a set for various occasions, from birthday to get better to thank you, and I especially like how she has used different patterns in different colors for her cards. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea channel has created a set of nine spooky sweet Halloween cards. If you haven't yet watched her video, make sure to do that because she has a free gift for you at the end. Next up is Ashley of Mint Twist Cards. You might recognize this set from this month's thumbnail. I love those different patterns and make sure if you haven't yet seen it to check out her channel because she also made a second set. Karen of Karen's Crafting Company made this snowy fun set of cards. I love the blues and grays in those papers and how she was able to use cut aparts from the pad for her sentiment squares. Next up is Amalia from Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia and this month she has continued to use her new paper pad. I love those bright fun colors and her floral die cut. Karen Aiken has created a set of nine adorable Halloween cards this month. I am in love with those colors and those cute little focal points. First up is Mariah who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs and she has created a set of nine holiday cards. Loving those papers and how she has used a die cut in place of her sentiment for the focal point. This lovely set of cards was created by at Craftaholic Mama, also known as Stacy. I love the pretty purples and florals and those cute little focal points. Barbara, who is at One Busy Bee on Instagram, went with a Halloween theme for her cards. Once again, super cute papers, and I love those spooky sweet focal points. 
Noe Me, who is at AZ Crafty on Instagram, created this stunning set of fall thank you cards. I love the paper she chose, those focal points, and you can see for her top right square, she actually used another piece of pattern paper. Up next is Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy on Instagram, and she went with a Christmas theme for her nine cards. I love kind of the ivory with the reds and those pretty gold snowflakes. Jessica, who is at Jessie Kate Creates, went with a Halloween theme. She has those fun, bright papers and focal points, and I like how she has added a little bit of distressing to those green card bases. At Scrapbook Girl, aka Lisa, will finish up today's showcase with another set of adorable Halloween cards. Once again, awesome papers, and I love those stamped and die cut focal points. Well, for the rest of my video, I do have a special guest. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of those cards together. If you did, as always, I enjoy a thumbs up. Don't forget to go visit my collaborators, see what they've created, leave them some love. I know it will be appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.